A viewer gifted me this uh, Silky Saw Big Boy back in uh, the summer. I've been using it a lot. I really like it. I've just been waiting for the right opportunity to actually bring it on a trip and review it. So I think this is it. Thanks, Alan, for uh, buying this for me. This time last year, I would have been up to my knees breaking trail. There's snow on this, so why not? Why not go out for a hike? There's no choice. Oh, here it is. This is the spot. Let's take a look inside. Ah, oh, the place is looking good. Somebody has been here. Cut a bunch of firewood. That's what it's all about. Leave it better for the next person. I left some fire starter behind, too. Oh yeah, look at this. There's tons of firewood. I don't even think I have to cut any tonight. Cheers, buddy. I always keep finding my way back to this area of the Kootenays. It's just what works the best in terms of freedom and being somewhat close to a town so I can do a resupply. They've built logging roads absolutely everywhere. And I mean, if I want to stay out here for longer than I could and uh, have an entire mountain range all to myself, so it really begs the question, do I actually need to be a landowner? You kind of just get a taste for it, then uh, move on, migrate with the seasons. The original plan was to go to the valley south of Hewitt Peak. For most of the summer, there's a huge snow ramp there. It leads all the way to the top. You just plod right up it, straight to the summit, but I'm too late. Uh, it's, uh, it's all melted out, so I don't think there's any hope for going up that valley. So I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just following Rocco, leaving it in her paws to do the route finding and uh, lead me to the top. Rocco led me astray. It's all her fault. I don't think this is going to work uh, from this direction. Maybe from the next valley over beneath uh, Tumbling Peak it would go from there. Or just wait until uh, early next summer and uh, do it the way I planned on doing it. But nice viewpoint of uh, Tumbling Peak from here. It's really good. <laughs> Uh, thank you to whoever uh, came up here with a chainsaw and cut all the firewood. That was great. Kept me warm last night. And also for the shot of whiskey. That's what ties the whole room together. You can't have a cabin in the mountains without a bottle of that. But the, uh, the wood stove uh, it seems to leak out some smoke. Uh, you kind of have to sit here with the door open when you use it. Uh, this morning when I woke up, I uh, had a bit of a headache from all the smoke that I breathed in. Or maybe it was the whiskey. It's time for the Selkie Saw Big Boy review. And nothing to it. The ultimate uh, backpacking saw. Huh. This would even be good enough for doing light trail maintenance. Definitely a very nice product to add into uh, my arsenal when I head out on uh, backpacking trips. Hope to use this a whole lot more. <laughs> 